welcome back to Poppins Approved. I'm so, so excited because today I'm doing a collaboration with Ashley from Gator Mom. And if you're following me here, I'm 100% sure you're following her there. And if not, you need to be because she is so awesome. She's one of the first people that I started following for bag content. She's so sweet and she has tons of videos on all different bags. She really goes into detail and really gives her opinion on the bag. She does stuff like um, shopping hauls and lots of other motherhood content. So I will be sure to link her channel down below. We're actually collabing today on a bag that has been highly, highly requested and we are finally getting it out for you. This is the Dagny Dover Indie Backpack. This is their brand new bag that is specifically made as a diaper bag. Now, you can use it for lots of other things because this is a super cool bag, but when they designed it, they had babies in mind. This is the beautiful color Dune. I don't even know how you explain this one. It has a really nice kind of muted purpley tones to it. It's a really nice like neutral tone that goes well with everything and I just think it's super super classy looking. You can see there on the back you have the awesome backpack straps and something that they have added to most of their backpacks is this luggage sleeve. So they've added that on here as well. It's kind of heavy because I've stuffed it full. So I'm going to put it on the ground and let's jump into all the cool features. First of all you all know I love 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 Dagny Dover. I love the material that they use to create their bags. I just think it's so different and fun while still being classy and beautiful looking. I think these chunky zippers are really really fun and cute. The logo itself is made out of really cool like a rubbery material. How pretty and classy does that look? I love that. On the front here you actually have two zippers. Now this one down here I wasn't sure when I got the bag what this was going to be for. I thought maybe it was its own like little separate pocket maybe for pens or something but it actually is a part of this pocket. It's one section but they made this here so that you could put a pack of wipes into that pocket and be able to grab out some wipes really quick and easily if you wanted to. So I have stuck a small pack of wipes right there in the front. So when you open this, you can see I'll pull out my little wipes case. This is an Orchid Hearts wipes case. And um, I like actually having some thin wipes right there because behind it, then I still have some room for my um, compact here from Bare Minerals. I also have a wallet. This is just from Target. And then you have three pen loops right there. And uh, normally I would have a pen right there. I have a Sharpie and a Tide to Go pen as well. You can see it does have a double zipper pull. And on the zipper pull itself, it has, it has these really cute rubber pieces that they have added to both of these so that you can easily get a hold of those and pull them over and get into your bag. I haven't seen this feature on any of their other bags so far, so I think it's something kind of unique and cool about the Indie backpack. There is a buckle hardware here that actually does come undone, and you can tuck this into this little pocket down here if you don't want that to be seen, and that way you have more room in the bag if you need it. Um, I don't find that I ever have to unbuckle this. There's plenty of room for me on the inside. In this pocket, I also am keeping um, a Hello Bello hand sanitizer spray. You can see these pockets are nice and wide. You do have a little D-ring right here if you wanted to attach um, a key leash to that. I don't know if this is correct, but mine came with two key leashes. And there's these little tabs in a lot of different places for you to kind of attach things to. So I love that they give you lots of options to um, work with your bag. On this other side, again, you have the same setup, except for on this side, you do have the two elastic pieces on the outside of the pocket. I don't really tend to use these for anything, but I know some people use these for like um, an umbrella. I also just think it's kind of aesthetically pleasing and looks really nice on the outside of the bag. So in here, this is actually where I'm keeping my keys. And again, you have that little D-ring there to attach the key leash to. So here is my key leash, and then I have my keys attached. And anything that I pull out of my bag, I will link in um, one link below. It'll say what's in my bag, and you can go find all the things that I have in here on that link. Turning the bag around, you have two D-rings here at the top. And this is great for attaching the bag to a stroller or a cart, or I know some people have those hanging hand sanitizers, things like that. You can use these little D-rings for all those sorts of things. So these do come in really handy. You have two zippered pockets on the sides, just like all their backpacks. On this side, I'm actually keeping my cell phone. And then on this side, I'm keeping the straps that come with the bag. Now, these are the straps that you can attach to these D-rings to put onto a stroller or a shopping cart. A lot of companies will have extra 
stickers that you can purchase separately, but you'll see when I get into the bag that that Dagny Dover gives you a lot of really cool extras when you purchase your bag. Also inside of this pocket, I am keeping a little pouch that is holding my earphones. Now you guys know from my other videos that these backpack straps are some of my favorite backpack straps I have ever tried. They're really nice and squishy. It feels like some sort of like gel foam amazingness. And I just love how comfortable they are. Even when I have this nice big bag fully packed, I still find this bag to be comfortable because these backpack straps are so awesome. Like I mentioned at the beginning, you do have a um, luggage sleeve here. I do wish that maybe they had put a small zipper here at the very bottom so that you could use this as an extra pocket when you wanted to, but not really a huge deal. Still super nice to have that luggage sleeve. Grab handle is really nice and sturdy. It's just made of a nice like seat belt material and it is kind of curved here at the bottom so it's easy to grab onto. Let me just show you the bottom quickly. This is what the bottom looks like. It is just that neoprene material. No feet or rubber or protection or anything so I would be a little bit more careful setting this down on the ground but it is a really easily kind of cleanable and wipeable material and I have found that it's really super easy to clean all my Dagny Dover bags. Let's move on to the fun stuff which is the interior. The first thing you'll probably notice is back here in the back I can fit my laptop. I'm pretty sure this is a 15 inch laptop and right here is a little Velcro strap that will kind of hold that into place. So I will take that out first. You can see on the inside, it's a nice nylon material that's easily wipeable. Um, so also right back here, you can see there are two mesh pockets in front of that back laptop sleeve. So right here in these two mesh pockets, I have some um, wet ones and then some degree underarm deodorant wipes. And then over here in this one, this is kind of where I keep my entertainment for my kids. So I have some mini squigs in here. These are those fun little toys that you can stick together and make little creations. And that is in a jujube small set piece. Also down in there, I do have a um, the Dagny Dover neoprene pouch that comes with this bag. And in here, I am keeping some boogie boards for my boys to draw and color with. Right here in the middle, I have a 12 little clear pouch. This just has a bunch of snacks in it. And then in front of that, I do have a Jujube medium set piece. This one actually I have attached to the um, key leash that comes with the bag. I don't know if I showed you before, but it is stretchy, so that's kind of cool. So let me just undo that there. And you do have a D-ring here on the front of the bag, and then you have another one right here on the back. So. Lots of these little D-rings all over the place for you to work with. Inside of this medium set piece from Jujube, I just have some mommy things, um, hair ties, I have some sunscreen, feminine needs, and then I also have things like antibiotic ointment, anti-itch cream. So it's kind of those just little odds and ends that I wanna keep in one place. Now, as you can see here, I have my water bottle and this is a 24 ounce water bottle and it was inside of this really cool water bottle pouch. Now this is actually snapped into the bag, but you can easily unsnap it. And I think this is so cool that they've included this for you. It's the perfect place to keep those big water bottles and keep it from like falling around all over the bag. As you can see, mine doesn't take up the whole circle. So you can fit even larger water bottles here, so that's awesome. Now over here on this side, you have another kind of tall pocket. This does have Velcro to attach the pocket. And right here, I am keeping the change pad that comes with the bag. This is really cool. It's mesh on one side, and then if you open it up, it's really nice and big. It is a really nice, wipeable material. I don't usually bring a um, change pad with me very much anymore, unless it's like a thin one. This one is pretty thick, but with this bag, I actually had room to throw it in. Um, something else that I have in here is also something that comes with the bag. This is the Dagny Dover shoe bag, I guess. This is that comes with all of their bags. You could use this as, for like dirty clothes or something, but inside is not like PLU lined or anything. So just something to think about when you're um, packing stuff into here. So like I mentioned, that is a Velcro closure. Now turning this around, this is something that I wish Dagny Dover would do more of. Another long mesh pocket, but this actually has a magnetic closure. If you can see that, I wish all of these closures were magnetic because magnets are the best. But in here, this is where I'm keeping all of my diapers and wipes. So I have my Jujube large set piece and in here is where I have pull-ups and diapers, all that good stuff for diaper changes is are in here. A little um, munchkin arm and hammer baggy dispenser. So if we have dirty diapers, we can throw 
throw them in there. There you go, there is the beautiful magnetic closure. I love that. Like I said, I wish they would do that in all the pockets. I think it's awesome. Now that all my stuff's out of it, you can see all the really cool pockets and organization that you have. I really, really love the way Dagny Dover thinks and how they have organized everything for you. If you have any questions about this bag, please leave them in the comments below. I try and get back to those comments as quickly as possible. Like I mentioned, Ashley from Gator Mom is also going to be reviewing this bag. I'm sure she'll cover some of the things that I might have missed. So definitely go check out her channel. I will link it down below in the description box. I hope this was helpful and I hope you guys enjoyed this long-awaited review and we will talk to you guys in the next one.